Checking out Matoza. All right, I am live. Nice. What game? Uh, Mitoza. Wait, what's that one? I'm gonna check. It's a choose your own adventure. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, it's even free. Yeah. It's very short and it's fully got it. Perfect. Which guide are you following? Coach Gamers. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, pressing escape closes again. Just a heads up. Yeah, that's annoying when games does that. That was me, by the way, I just moved him. Oh, I see, uh, I already saw a mistake. 
a guide? Yeah, uh, make sure you're following the top instructions, the names, instead of um, the directions. Okay.
Oh, you have to get every single ending, not just the ones that are... ...that are achievements for. Oh no. Yeah, uh, there's a different guide with the chart, which is better. Okay. The all endings one. Yeah. I accidentally reset my progress, but it's okay. Um, it's easier to follow this chart, anyways. Good job. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna try it now. Wait, do I need every single ending? Uh, you need to go through every single... You need to experience every single, um... Event. Okay. So if you, if you try to go for every single event, you'll get all the achievements anyways, because you'll hit those endings. So might as well just try to follow the chart however you want so you can keep track
Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen power wow. season. I'm ready to game. Nice. Work. I'm recording by the way. Why does that demo have a hundred achievements? What? Why the heck not? True. True. Yeah, there's so much free shit coming out, I can't keep up. Jesus Christ. Um, you know, because of like the the gift grab thing. Yes. Let me have a screenshot. Still recording. Uh huh. It's nothing anyway. Oh god. So. Why is Mr. Mind so weird now? Yeah, the game is so different now. Like, it's cool, but I don't really know what any of these gems do or anything. I'm just sort of getting at them.
This choose your own adventure game is kind of weird, but it's kind of funny. What is it? Uh, me Toza. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. At least it's convenient enough to loop you right into the next playthrough. Yeah, that's true. Also, um, in fact, you know the the achievement for fifty DPS. Yeah. Either I'm completely missing something, or I have no idea how you unlock that. I'm not sure how you check your DPS. Because. What does DPS even mean? Because I know, like, when. Like. Oh, never mind, I found it. Oh, so. Uh, go to the underground city. Wait, I'm just gonna finish this free to play. And I don't know why this game even has DPS because it's not automatic. So what's the point? If you want, this is what the game looks like. <laughs> what the hell is it? In? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Are they it's fully like, guided. Like, are they eggs or clowns? I can't really tell. Like, what I do is you click this or this, like, that's the whole game. It's kind of boring. Yep. And you need to see all endings for one of the achievements. Mm-hmm. 
Also, I assume you're already ready anyway, but the fact that Mr. Mine is getting moon achievements actually makes me sad. Wait, what? It said it in the update post on the Discord. Um, it says, um, added five new quests slash achievements to the underground city. Moon achievements coming soon. Oh my god. Oh my like, god. the moon's like yeah. a thousand. Oh. Well then. Is there a pit away? I mean, technically, yeah, but even then it's not very efficient, is it? Like, unless you put a disgusting amount of money in, it's not like one kind of little upgrade, I don't think. Can you even pay to win just I mean, by those crates? Buy tickets, but they get you, what, like, golden chests? It's not really worth it. Yeah, no. It's not you can, It's not as pay to win as, like, ad cap. I mean, even ad cap's pretty easy for you. Well, yeah, but it's even easier to pay to win. True. I'm still sad I put money into Crush Crush and found out it was very easy even doing it for free. RIP. Like, these, the, the achievements for this game were fine, and they've just done this. Yeah, like, I, I swear these fucking idle games are just getting longer and longer mm. as they get released. Like, that Leaf Blower one, that was, what, like, five, ten hours at launch? Now it's, like, three hundred. Yeah, there's a lot of traps around. But like, they're actually good games. People just need to mark when they're early access correctly. Like, I mean, I knew what I was getting into when I started both of them, but... Like, normally long clickers at least have a somewhat decent amount of achievements, like Transport Defender and stuff, but like, I'm pretty sure eventually this game is going to take at least like 1,500 hours, and it only has like 30 achievements. Which just isn't worth it. A golden chest, you right? Yeah, when you're done with that epic game, I'll show you what I mean. No. Who left? Right. But it didn't say much for the past uh, while. Yeah, this game is shit. Like, I mean, at least for this game, I don't mind doing it, but Leaf Blower, that is actually ages. Like, if, I'm not going to start that Grass Cutter one either, because as much as I kind of like some of that devs game, he also has a habit of just being stupid. You mean Fat Frogs? Yeah. Fine. Yeah, he likes to add stuff to his games. Like, Creature Clicker was out for, like, how long? Like, three years, and he just releases that, like, Wasp shit. Just random. Yep. It's kind of a decent game though, that's the sad part. Yeah, I don't mind Creature Clicker. But I didn't like the grass one. I haven't even started it and I probably won't. It's too not idle for my taste. Is it like no way of idling it at all? Or... You need to like manually do a lot of stuff. I don't know. I mean, same with Mr. Mind though, there's a lot of manual stuff that you have to do. Like, you can just leave it there for the most part, but if you actually want proper progression, get the thing. Yes. 
I also realized that, um, yeah, I sacrificing things to the core is literally worthless. Yeah, I just did it for the achievement. I thought it meant just selling things, but no. 50 billion. Yikes. Like, my capacity is 100 million. That's still a long time. Well, no, not really. Actually, no, because you could just get one of those quests that give you, like, a disgusting amount of, like, yeah, copper or some shit that, yeah, that overcaps you, which I just got and didn't sell because I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, I got, like, 20 billion or some shit, and it was really fast. Oh, have you already got the achievement? Yeah. Huh. That one was very easy. Pointless but easy. The rest of them are just really, 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 really annoying. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> like that level 50 one. It's not too bad, because I'm pretty sure... Well, if he dies, what do you do then? Most of the time you have got one that is a very, very low death chance, if not zero. But... I guess. I'm just gonna speak in the Discord, just so. Do I have to fucking update my shit? How long does this game take? Which one? Uh, the one Apex play. Uh, I want to say like 30 minutes. Shit, looks mega ass. Yeah, here's the guide I'm following. <laughs> You show him the picture? Yeah. That's the guy. I mean, it, it does the job, but yeah. I mean, it does a good job of de explaining which one's left and which one's right. But yeah, I accidentally uh, reset my my progress, Kurt, so I gotta do the whole thing. Oh my god. I mistook it for a restart story button, but it was a reset progress button. How you can do that and not be slightly tilted is beyond me. I mean, it's an easy game, so I'm not complaining, and it's fully yeah, got it. Yeah, but like, even the easy games kind of kind of pisses me off when that shit happens. Oh, are you both playing the same game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, actually, might finish before me, even though he started later, just because I reset my progress. Like, this is one of those games where I would not be able to play it just because I don't have a second monitor and I can't tab out. Half-Life? I'm playing it on one monitor. Half-Life? 
Uh, are you trying to fully guide me through it? I uh, just might. do Half-Life if you fully cheese it. Less than 10 hours. Probably even less. Wait. It's, I'm pretty sure I did the whole game in one day. Yeah, you did in like it's 8 hours, less than didn't 10 you? 10 hours anyway, shouldn't it? I'm pretty sure even without cheese it's less than 10 hours. I'd say like 7 hours. Well, With full cheese, about, like, probably like 3, 4. Like, the episodes of the first one. I mean, the, the full one. The full one. Because I've done the full one. It's the episodes I haven't. The episodes are just a few hours. Episodes are even shorter, yeah. Yeah, okay, now I have 22 hours on Half-Life 2. When? Fuck that game, it's shit. Whoa. Like, it's not a bad game. It's just not a good game. I didn't really mind it. I mean, I, I have I have to play. Where's the update gone? Oh, yeah, I have uh, Half Life Two, Episode One, Episode Two, the update, and I don't know. I honestly didn't even know the difference with the update and the original. It's supposed to look nicer. Oh, it's a remaster, pretty much. Yep. It does it look nicer though? I can't really tell. I didn't really notice much. But I don't know. It also probably fixed a few bugs. Probably. I mean, Half Life being buggy was sort of what makes it fun, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, so resetting my progress, I got uh, 40 minutes. Oh, damn. That looks questionable. <laughs> this whole game is questionable. Yeah. Let's just keep talking about it. In case the dev Googles, uh, or YouTube's <laughs> any videos on this. Also, I asked the person who said, um, who uh, recently got the top 10 achievement in CM, and he says that there's no point doing it on official levels because every single run is scripted in the top 50, pretty much. It's gonna do it on custom levels. I'm that's what I'm wondering because the way he worded it, can you do it on workshop levels? Because if you can, that's kind of. Just make your own and you get top 10 yeah. instantly. Yeah, I just did it when it was up.